what to pack inside your hospital bag. Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. This is your sleepy mama, Jean. And I know matagal ako nawala, pero nandito na ako. Wala ako excuse. Talaga nung mga ilang buwan din kasi ako nag-procrastinate lately. So, ayun. Eh, tsaka nag-start rin kasi maglakad yung anak ko. So, talagang I'm very, very, um, talagang put on sa pagbabantay sa kanya. Kasi, syempre, di ba, nag-start na siyang maglakad. So, nagka-climb na rin siya and all. Kaya, yun. But anyway, lately, I've been inspired to do this episode kasi yung isa kong friend, she's well into her pregnancy. And she's been asking, ano ba talaga yung ilalagay sa hospital bag? What are the things that I would try to consider to bring inside the hospital? Ano ba yung mga para para rin ma-prepare, ma di ba? So, ayun. So, I made this episode for moms like her or soon to be moms like her. So, ayun. Kasi ako din, nagtanong din ako marami, din ako pinagtanungan kung ano ba talagang kailangan kong dalhin. Kasi ang dami-dami kong gusto and I'm already used to packing my stuff because, di ba, yung ano, ko, previous job ko kasi, it involves packing stuff. So, talaga, eh, this time, it's very different from what I'm used to. So, ayun. So, anyway, punta na tayo sa mga pack. First, syempre, ang advice ko is, maglagay kayo ng mga separate bags kung saan nyo ilalagay yung mga items. For example, isang mga ganito, hmm, kailangan yung mga nakasegregate na. Ayan. This is very cheap. It's like for only travel bag. Parang nga ganun to. Para nakasegregate yung gamit ni baby, gamit mo, gamit ng asawa mo, yung mga pang-entertainment. Diba? Ayun. So, ngayon, punta muna tayo dun sa mga your baby needs. Diba? Ayun. So, ngayon, um, for me, I prepared good for three days. So, eh, kinulang pa din ako dun sa three days yan. Kasi I wasn't expecting to stay inside the hospital for more than 3 days. And nagstay ako ng 5 days. So, medyo kinulang yung stock ko. But, majority of the moms that I know, they do only stay in the hospital for 2 to 3 days. So, prepare, ano, clothes for 3 days. Siyempre, yung baby, um, yung temperature nila, hindi pa nila, um, hindi pa sila well-adjusted. So, might as well bring onesies. So, yung mga onesies, yung mga ganito, oh, ayan, yung mga balot, mga balot na balot, ayan, kita nyo, ayan. Balot na balot. Ayan. Hanggang pa, ayan. So, nakabalot sila. But, don't over-bundle your babies. Because they still cannot regulate their their body temperature. So, pag sobrang nainitan yan, kasi yung mga babies nag-overheat yan. Kahit i-search nyo sa internet, nag-overheat ng mga babies pag so, sobrang over-bundling. So, ito, kahit na onesie siya, medyo manipis yung tela. Pero, breathable naman. So, ayun. Mga ganito, mga sas masasuggest ko. Plus, very accessible yung um, crotch area. Kasi important ito. Kasi magpapalit ka na magpapalit ng diaper. Isa rin yun sa baba. Pero let's get to that later. So, ito. Mga onesies na ganito. I brought three. Three na, three pairs like this. Majority sa gabi. Pero anyway, wala, wala pa naman kasi silang sense of night and day. Pero yun, majority sinusuot ko sa baby yun. Pagkalabas, pag gabi. Ayan. Bumili rin ako ng mga ganito. Ayan. Pareho lang mga onesies na parang coverall talaga. Ayan. But I also bought yung pairs, yung ito, yung naka, yung detali lang. Ayan o, detali. Tapos susuot lang ni baby. Ayan. Susuot mo, tapos may pajama din. Yun. Why puti? Kasi importante din na very light colored yung mga damit. Kasi hindi mo masabi pag may insecto or whatsoever, langgam na gumagapang. At least makikita mo agad kung ano ba yung... Kasi syempre hindi naman masasabi sa'yo ng baby kung may masakit, may makate or whatever. So mabuti yung mga light colored na clothes. Preferably white. So ayun. So mga three pairs of this din. So total of six, clothes, six pairs of clothes na siya. Plus, bola pa dito yung mittens. Ayan. Um, I brought four pairs of mittens. Ayan. Mga mittens. Ayan. Siyempre, ang cute. Oh. Ito yung mga gamit ng anak ko dati. Ayan. Oh. Mga mittens and all. Ayan. Siyempre, we'll never forget booties. Siyempre, hindi mo na kailangan lagyan ng booties kapag covered na rin yung paa. Pero doon sa mga clothing na exposed yung paa, ayan. Mag-booties siya. Cute-cute eh. Oo. Oh, ayan. Oh. Cute, cute. Anyway, Continuing on, ayan, meron din siyang bonnets. Nagdala rin ako ng bonnets. Ayan, o, mga bonnets. Ayan. So, consider bringing bonnets for your babies din. So, moving on, after mittens, bonnets, onesies, 
are ito. Syempre, consider yung clothes din ng baby pag pauwi na kayo. Syempre, maganda rin yung magandang magandang damit. Ay, syempre, pinamaganda. So, syempre, ayun, ito yung at I remember, this is the clothes that my baby wore. Ayan, pag pauwi siya. Cute-cute kasi nito. May hoodie pa, o. Oh. Tapos, ayan, bear and all. Ayan, basta, consider nyo yung mga pang-uwi na, ano, na gamit ng baby nyo din. Tapos, ayan, booties. Tapos, nagdala rin ako ng isang swaddle. This is the only swaddle that I actually like. Yung swaddle me. Kasi yung zipper dito sa, sa upper corner of the swaddle, it's covered it's covered. So, hindi siya na, hindi na, um, natutusok yung neck nung baby ko. So, this is the only swaddle that I like. I tried Miracle Blanket, other swaddles, but this one is actually, talagang gusto ko to. So, ayun. Tsaka socks. Siyempre, pa-uwi to. Siyempre, pambongga yung pang-uwi. So, in addition to that, siyempre, pag pa-uwi na yung baby, consider buying a car seat. Yung car seat, um, hindi yan applicable for, I mean, there are kind, different kinds of car seat. Meron for newborn. Ayan, send ko yung pakita kay picture dito sa side na to. Ito yung dala namin nung nag-out kami sa hospital. So, ayan. Ayan, consider buying car seat. Ayan. Siyempre, don't forget yung damit mo. Yung mga kailangan mo. So, ito yung mga damit ko. I remember, I brought two pairs of pajama. Kasi... Hindi naman ako masyado naligo sa so, hospital. Actually, naligo, naligo naman ako. Naligo ako at that same day na nanganak ako. I know some older generations, they don't really advise you to take a bath afterwards. Pero talaga, wala naman kasi sinabi sa akin na bawal yung doktor. So, naligo. So, naligo ako after. Parang, nanganak ako na 4 a.m. Plus, naligo ako mga 5 p.m. na. So, more than 12 hours na rin. So, ayun. So, I bought... Two pairs of pajamas. So, please consider buying pajamas. Kasi, syempre, di ba, malamig din sa hospital. So, yung mga pajamas, I would recommend yung talagang full set. Tsaka yung covered yung arms and all. Plus, yung may botones sa unahan. Para easy access pag nagpapadede ka na. Pag nagbe-breastfeed ka na. So, ayun. Consider buying or bringing this kind of pajamas. Ayan. Para easy access yung baby. Pag katul... Labas ka lang, di ba? Okay, ayun. So, syempre... Uh, magbe-breastfeed ka. So, don't forget to bring a cream. Especially yung mga first time moms na wala pang idea. Very important na nipple cream because naiibsan niya yung sakit. Parang kasi yung nipple mo hindi pa nabibreak in yan eh. So, every time you um, latch the baby before, before you latch the baby, try to put the nipple cream kasi naiibsan yung sakit. Kasi masakit talaga yan sa umpisa. But, the pain goes away after a while. So, ayun, yung madala eto lanolin cream madala yun din nalako plus meron din mother love na organic um, nipple cream plus meron din yung lanolin cream talaga so ayun consider bringing one hindi mo kailangan marami kasi ako nag-hoard ako yung nakasalan ako nag-hoard ako hindi ko pala kailangan kasi after one month okay na eh so hindi mo kailangan talaga ng maraming cream one tube lang okay na plus nagdala rin ako ng ito wink binder ito yung binder na din nalako kasi other than, it helps you, um, parang yung chan mo, nahi-help na i-compress para bumalik yung mga laman loob mo into its rightful place. Kasi syempre, di ba, na-compress yan kung saan sa napunta, nag-expand yung uterus mo, yung stomach mo umangat, kaya may mga acid reflux. But anyway, ito, I brought wink binder together. Basta nag-buy pa ako ng isa pang hip shaper, eh. Para syempre, bumalik agad yung chan ko. Pero, mamis, it doesn't hindi mo naman, don't rush yourself na bumalik agad yung katawan mo. Ako kasi, um, I admit, gustong-gusto ko talaga yung pagkapakan ako, babalik agad yung katawan ko. Pero, it doesn't really happen that way. Siyempre, unless yung artista ka, di ba, yung may mga personal coach ka and all. Ayun, pero hindi talaga siya babalik immediately. It will take you months, even years. Even now, one year old na and over si Loi, but I still haven't gotten my original weight. My original weight was 48 to 50 kilos. And bago ko manganak, nag 68 kilos ako. And until now, hindi ko nalulus yung total na weight ko. 55 pa din ako ngayon. But for me, healthy weight is 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 more important than actually getting to my original weight. So, okay na ako dun. So, ayun, wing binder, 
consider buying if especially if you're a CS kasi I heard it really helps so ayun and also don't forget to bring your nursing bra syempre magpapadede ka if you're not uh, magpapadede naman bring bottles but a majority of the hosp yung hospital dito kasi um, they don't encourage bringing bottles pwede siguro mag hand express and then cup feeding and all but ayun so try to consider bringing your nursing bra ito marami yan online after alam mo pagkapanganak mo online will be your online shopping will be your best friend kasi as in for the first month you're just hold up inside the room magpapadede ka lang talaga as in kaya yun so anyway next is nursing dress syempre pagkalabas mo ng hospital kailangan mo na nursing wear hindi naman hindi naman pwedeng makapantalon ka agad di ba kasi syempre yung pag CS ka ako kasi normal pero Mas comfortable pa rin ako pag nakapalda ako, nakadress. So, I brought a nursing dress. So, ayun. Yung accessible yung boobies mo. So, at least the baby can nurse anytime. You don't have to lift your shirt or whatever. Talagang accessible lang si boobies and all. So, ayun. Consider bringing one nursing wear pagka pag aalis ka na ng hospital. So, ayun. Next is for your... Ah, I forgot... Ito pala, uh, syempre, don't forget to bring yung mga uh, burp cloths ni baby kasi syempre, magpapaburp ka. After feeding, burp mo si baby. So, after feeding, pagka-burp niya, syempre, may konting-konting milk. So, try to bring burp cloths. So, yung mga burp cloths ko, nawawala. But anyway, ayan, merong, ayun. Ayan. It doesn't matter if malaki yung maliit kasi maliit na matagay yung baby. So, anyway, patong mo dyan, pag-burp ka, ayun. I brought three pairs plus isang malaki pero talagang sagad yung hanggang likod but anyway yon marami akong dinalang ganyan but hindi ko naman masyado nagamit so i advise three pairs four pairs it's okay so ayun plus i bought towel din pero hindi rin ginamit but if you want just bring your own towel din and don't forget syempre yung partner mo, wala namang extra kama. Unless yung hospital room may extra kama, try to bring extra pillow and blanket kasi minsan talaga malamig sa hospital. I remember my husband used this one. This is my travel pillow. I, I bought this when I was um, still a uh, cabin crew. And this is the pillow and blanket that I always bring with me. Ayan, pillow siya plus may blanket sa, in, ano, sa loob. So, talagang okay siya. So, nagamit ito ng asawa ko. May pillow na siya, may blanket pa. And um, ah, diaper. Don't forget the diaper. Don't forget the that newborns, they use 8 to 12 diapers a day. Then, magpupoop sila ng black, yun yung meconium, and they will poop talaga as in mercilessly almost every hour, every two hours. So, try to bring at least 36 diapers. For me, I bought one talaga, one pack of newborn diapers talaga. So far, okay naman. Kahit nag-provide yung hospital ng mga diapers for, for the baby, nagdala pa rin ako. Plus, of course, if you want lampen, it's up to you. It's your personal choice, diba? So, and also, don't forget to bring cotton pads. So, whenever you're doing change of nappies, as much as possible, avoid using the industrialized cotton um, wipes. Yung process, yung... Basta, cotton and, cotton and water is the perfect ano, perfect wipe for the baby talaga. As in, walang, walang halong chemical and all. But of course, if you're outside, hindi mo may iwasan kasi if wala ka talagang accessible na water, you can use the water wipes but not the, yung maraming, uh, maraming chemicals kasi it might irritate the baby skin. So, syempre, nanganak ka na. So, ang importante then don't forget your underwear, so, yung underwear mo, don't try to bring the skimpy ones. Don't try to bring the, ano, talagang masikip. Kasi ang hirap nun, ang na I remember din nala ko nun is yung granny panties. Talagang yung malaki, maluwag, tsaka maternity pads. Makakabili ka ng maternity, maternity pads anywhere in the in the grocery, in the pharmacy. May mga maternity pads talaga. So, ayun, nag-provide din naman yung hospital but still, it's better to be prepared. So, ayun. Plus, yung mga, dalhin, mag, don't forget, magdala rin mga gadgets. Kasi yung labor yan, di naman yan agad-agad eh. Magtatagal pa yan ng ilang oras. So, for yourself and for the person who's who's gonna be accompanying you, might as well prepare gadgets para malibang kayo. Pati yung mga power banks. Siyempre, don't forget the camera to capture those special moments. Kung pwede ba mag-record sa loob, why not, ba So, ayun. Um, also, 
Don't forget yung wallet. Importante yan. For sure, before ka mga anak sa hospital, di ba, napagtanungan nyo na kung magkano yung aabutin nung presyo. So, try as much to bring more than what is expected to 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 pay kasi syempre hindi mo masasabi kapag nasa hospital or pagka panganak pwede magkaroon ng complications like what like my ano my son's birth sorry nagkaroon siya ng complications after birth thankfully prepared naman so ayun nakaraos din and last but not the least ang babauni nyo bago mga anak is dasal yun talaga it's it's very important to pray talagang pagdasal nyo na makaraos agad kayo na hindi kayo masyadong pahirapan ng labor kausap ko sa akin yung baby nyo na huwag kayo masyadong pahirapan mag labor i think it's it's it would it would work um, especially if your baby is healthy if you don't have any complications it will definitely help you so anyway Thank you very much for watching this episode and see you again on the next one. And thank you for tuning in and see you again next time. Bye-bye!